Hey guys, it's Matt Light and welcome to another episode of the Matt Light Podcast. This is episode 15. We took a week off. I was in Los Angeles. I was in San Diego. And Dustin, it looks like you're in a crack house right now. I mean, I'm not really in a crack house. I, I got the greens for this. what you told me to do. Well, here's the thing. You wanted to sit next to me. And I said, well, if you want to sit next to me, you're not allowed to look as cool as that's not your hand. <laughs> I have three. I have three hands. And ladies, I have three legs as well. <laughs> now, so, so every week what I'm going to do is you're just going to be in a shittier place. Background. Okay. We could do that, right? Yeah, that sounds nice. It's very appropriate, I guess. I don't know why you got to be mean to me in that, well, in that certain way. And you know the best part is you have a hoodie on. I mean, you have a I don't have a hoodie, a beanie on, a beanie on right on. now, and you legit look like you did not pay your fucking heat bill in whatever <laughs> carrot crack house you're in. It's actually pretty good. Where like if someone would just kind of come in right now, they're like, "Yeah, I'm just remote. I'm good. This is work. That's I've been we, busy. We I'm sorry, have, guys. We should have Rob in the background washing dishes." <laughs> Standing there, just not saying a word. It's not a bad idea. We should shoot something separate, and that's just the background I will have. <laughs> it's just Rob back there doing the dishes. <laughs> like, that's what we have him doing after we have him connect everything up. I love this, man. I'm uh, glad you're next to me. I think it's going to be a lot easier to talk to you. It is a lot easier. Does it look weird, I wonder? I can't tell. When, I, when I look to you, how's that look? Cause now I mean, I, I think see. we're both looking. That, like, if I look this way and you look that way, yeah. we're both looking this way. Yeah, so that looks weird. But Who cares? most of the time, we'll do what we got to do. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah, we'll do it live. How have you been? It's been two weeks. What have you been up it's to? It's been so long. It's uh, been I don't... one week since you look at me. <laughs> It's like a cock because I drank another coffee. <laughs> Listen, there's so much energy between us. It's like ridiculous. It's really, here's the thing, it's I, so much energy. Well, so I just started drinking coffee. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Los Angeles guy now. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. Show that off. I'm a Los Angeles mm. guy now. So I've just been drinking expensive waters and coffees and organic cum. It's been great. <laughs> Is that the standard orga organic cum? I don't know. But all I know is that, like, I like coffee. It's like free cocaine <laughs> without nosebleeds <laughs> and headaches. You can get the headaches once you get addicted, then you get off of it. I poop you know, way more happens. now, though. I don't like that. <laughs> you poop way more? I think when you do coke, you can't poop, right? And then you do... And then it you, does do that. And then you, then you snort coffee, and then... <laughs> Wait a second. But that's not how you do it? No, I don't think you're doing you that right crush at all. Up the, the, oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> but uh, since you've been gone, I did go and see... I can uh, breathe for the first time. I went and saw Tim Dillon yell at me for an hour and a half. Did he yell at you? Or he no, it like was just... It was... Um, most comedians I've seen, this is how stand up goes, you know, they come out and they kind of, it's like story time mm -hmm. in jokes or whatever. And there's like a build up and down. Yeah. It was just... Like 110 miles an hour from the beginning to end. Was it was that good or is that bad? It was good. I just it was it was like you're kind of in a ride. And you think you're gonna you're gonna go on this kind of ride. Like right. oh, it was good. Oh. And I hear myself, but like, but it was just like ah, ah, the whole time. Even when when Sam Talent came out, like it was just a freaking just. Was crazy. it too much? No, it it just. I guess I wasn't prepared for it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Is it? Do you think he's a good stand-up comedian? It's I, uh, man, it's weird. Great entertainer, like obviously, you know, I, I, it's weird to compare because I'm thinking of you know Norm when I go down the improv or when I saw um, uh, C, C, Louis C.K. and stuff. Yeah. It's just you can't compare. It's like well, a different type of show. You can't compare anybody to him though. Too. Yeah, That's I know. Unfair. But it's like also like trying to compare comedy, stand-up comedy to music. Like he was such a different act. Yeah. For me to say like, is he a good stand-up comedy? Like it's just not the same thing. Would you go again? Not, not probably not to see Tim. No, 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 because it just was like the show in a different form, and I feel like I can get that out of the show. If I would see someone else, I would just probably go see someone else. Okay, unless he had a really cool opener, or maybe they were doing a live show. I would yeah. go see a live show. Okay, yeah, but it was extremely entertaining. It was all the one funny part was uh, I people come to some of these shows and they they want to be you know it's about part them. Of, yeah. So like there was obviously it, first of all they, those guys if you if you ever go to a comedy show and you want to be a part of the show. Um, kill yourself. <laughs> just, just do that, and that's how you'll be involved. Go ahead. So he's trying to, like, you know, ride the audience, and he tried to say a few things about Biden, like just little one-offs. And obviously the guy was probably sitting there, like, ready to have his Let's Go Brandon chant, like maybe even wrote it down. And as soon as he even said Biden, someone was like, Let's Go Brandon. And, like, you could see how Dylan, like, wanted to address it. 
and try to make a joke out of it, but immediately noticed if he even leaned in a bit more, he was gonna lose the crowd. He switched to a next joke so quick it was jarring. Good, because it's about him. It was like, him. what? What happened? But the whole audience was about to break out into a Let's Go Brandon chant. Yeah, that's, that, that chant is- <laughs> I should say maybe a third of the audience. I should say the whole audience. That chant is so stupid. stupid. It's, it's so, so stupid. It's as dumb as the people that say it. It was funny at first. Because what it was was the announcers trying to save, stay face. Right, instead they of, obviously were saying like, fuck, fuck Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. They're like, what are they saying? They're like, yeah, they're going. Let's, Let's go, go Brandon. Brandon. That's what they were saying. But yeah. now the the right has just taken it to where like people are not even sure what the joke's from. Like th there was one politician. She I actually think they wore think it, Let's I Go think, Brandon shirt. I think they're literally. I think they think that that's the N word. <laughs> And they're just trying to get away with saying that. No, oh, you know, those Brandons are in the neighborhood. Again. And of course, growing up from any type of conservative, you were taught like respect the president and to respect your elders and everything like that. Yeah. And to think that like there's a code to say fuck the president, I feel like it's just so odd. It's so hypocritical. Which I, I like mean, how we jumped over to this. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. I, I don't even care. I don't even it's care. Just, about it was it. funny, but like we're just standing. It's a funny thing that people yeah. just want to bring attention to themselves. For, so they're like, I am I'm an inside joke. I know about this. Well, what I what I do like though is you know I do like to be able to make fun of both groups. I think mm -hmm. that's like if if I if I can make fun of Democrats, if I can make fun of Republicans, and both parties are there and they acknowledge it, then it's great. But sometimes some parties are just like. That's too mean. It's too I'm mean. <laughs> or they just take their joke too far and now it's all about them. Because yeah. that's what would have happened there. And then he would have been ruined ruined the show for everybody. She saw Tim Dillon. So fantastic. It was cool. Sam Talent was also a great opener. I like yeah. how he comes out in the shortest shorts like he just rolled out of the bus. Like oh, I hate that. <laughs> Don't wear shorts on stage. Oh, uh, it's. I think it's been his thing because his comedy special. Fat? You've met Sam Talent before, haven't no. you? Oh, I guess you weren't on that tour a couple, a couple festival, a couple years ago. Oh, the festival, the, the, which one? The uh, burn down the oh, uh, burning bridges stuff festival. Festival. Yeah, how's that comedy club going? Great. By the way? Uh, no one's died from there, and it's still open. Oh, okay. And there, and that ever, was that. I'm sorry. And, and that all was of, not. And all of those comics. <laughs> I felt bad about that. All one. those comics that were there are regularly booked at comedy clubs too. Right? Um, uh, I think so. No. They're not. Maybe a couple. Hey, anyways, ham bones was still pretty cool. I liked ham no, bones. You didn't like ham bones? I don't like anything. That I like their wings if, a lot. If I don't run I the really show, do. yeah. I don't want to be a part of it. That's what it is. So this is your podcast. What do you want to talk about? How I stole the show this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this Hollywood. was. Oh, yeah. So by the way, uh, with the first overall pick in the 2021 moving draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select fat fuck Matt Light, <laughs> North so Hills High yourself. School, 2007. North Hills High School. Yeah, dude. I uh, I went to Los. Hey, thank you. Shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> the palm trees in the background. <laughs> I, uh, no, man. I, I moved. I, well, I moved. Not yet. I'm moving next year. Move next Ooh, year. I should have said that. Um, I, you didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun, man. Uh, so. What originally happened was Jeff Dye, very funny comedian, good friend of mine, was supposed to come into town this weekend. Uh, and we were going to do a two-man show, and we were going to uh, perform in Pittsburgh. Jeff goes, hey, Matt, I just got this offer uh, to be a part of a wrestling event. Um, and he knows I love wrestling. Like, he and I, like, that's how we, like, mm -hmm. we first met, he had an NWO jacket on. And I gave him the two sweet, and then at that point on, we were just bros. Weekend bros. Right. Down here. And um <laughs> and then after that, uh, we just, you know, been close and and he goes, uh, listen, I I would do it if you're allowed to do it too. And I was like, What do you mean? He's like, Well, do you want to come to LA and be a part of a wrestling show? And I was like, Yeah, dude, fuck that stand up show. Like, you know, I would have made good money on it, but like I can always do that again. But LA wrestling show, it's LA wrestling special, show, right? it's different, right? Different, yeah. yeah. So I was like, let me do it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh they were like, You're gonna you're actually gonna wrestle. I was like, What? Like, you're gonna wrestle. So I go there and the first person that I meet, uh, we get we go into the the shop. By the way, Sean, thank you for having me. I go in and I see Sonny. The Sunny, our biggest crush Ow. ever. Sunny, hot Sunny. What's my biggest crust ever? Crust, not, crush. <laughs> not hot anymore. Ah, no, you're ruining my what? Nope. What? Not 
Even, not even in like the, the nostalgia hot, like no, kind of can no, like, you know, cause she. No, and she's a cunt. Aw. She was so mean to everybody. <laughs> We're introducing yourself, you're meeting everybody, blah, 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 blah. She's like, Sunny, like that. I wanted to be like, actually, WWE owns the name Sunny. Your name's Tammy, but. <laughs> but, but I didn't even say that because <laughs> I, I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to fucking deal with it. She was just. She was with her boyfriend. She was just in a fucking bad mood the whole time. Mm -hmm. Literally, everybody's having fun, and then she literally was like cancer walking in the room. <sighs> like we're all laughing. She's like, "I gotta fucking be it somewhere." Blah blah blah. I'm like, no, you don't, or you wouldn't be here. You're not sunny anymore. <laughs> It was so bad that even though even one of during one of the shows, like when they introduced her, mm -hmm. they gave her like great credits. All WWE Hall of Famer Sunny. She <laughs> goes, actually, you should be fired from wrestling school or from and let me tell you, I am 1996 most downloaded superstar on America Online. 1996. Let me break something down for you. <laughs> the event that we did, ready? The event that we uh -huh. did was for a five-year-old's birthday party. <laughs> so it's all kids that are five, six, seven, going, what the fuck is America Online? <laughs> what how, What is download? What is 1996? Right. Like, <laughs> whose mom is that? <laughs> Give us a Capri Sun, Sonny. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? She's addressing her credits at a birthday party. Dude, it's for a, a birthday party, and 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 they're just like, okay, okay, okay. Aunt Tammy, get off the fucking <laughs> ring, okay? No more Pinot Grigios for you. She's just like walking off. Where's my check? How do so, I cash this check? Oh, just so fucking mean, bro. Oh, that's awful. So, so, anyways, the day before I go there, and they're like, we're gonna have you train a little bit. You're gonna go run the ropes and learn some shit. Guess who I trained with? Uh, I don't know. I saw, I saw a bunch of different people in your story. The greatest so. WWE referee of all time. Oh, I did see that. Earl Hebner. And he was the guy who pinned down Bret Hart, right? Yeah. For the uh, Shawn Michaels match. Me and Jeff made so many you screwed Bret jokes. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe 10 fucking times. Like... <laughs> Over five minutes. He has to do that all the time. Bro, and he, he like, he, like, kind of, mm -hmm. like, gets bought, like, because we would not stop. He was <laughs> laughing about it. Get annoyed by And then guys. he was like, all right, motherfuckers. <laughs> and then so I'm like, I'm like, oh, hold on a second. My phone's ringing. As Shawn Michaels' theme song's playing. Because <laughs> that's like, your phone, right? Yeah. And I pick up. I'm like, sexy boy, yes. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's Brett here. What did you want to tell him? <laughs> And dude, he just stopped laughing. We're fucking dying. It was so funny. So we're running the ropes. We're doing stuff. We're not really learning much, right? And uh, <laughs> fucking around. But we're having fun. Right, like, right. We're bouncing off the ropes. I was sore as shit. My calves hurt. You know, I'm hanging out with these guys. Uh, Rich Swan was in my, uh, and he's a top ten wrestler. I mean, okay. this guy's fucking phenomenal. He's in our Airbnb. We're all cutting up. We're all having a good time. And it was just like, I love these wrestlers, man. And like, the one thing is like, I didn't want to be disrespectful. Like I'm not a trained wrestler. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to like disrespect the art form. Mm -hmm. And they were like, dude, it's a kid's birthday party. Who gives a fuck? That's what I'm kind of thinking there, yeah. right? Well, once you make sure you kind of go through your, cause you want to be good. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. And be safe. But then it's like, yeah, we're all right. And also, it's also like, I kind of think of it this way. It's like, so like when I'm at the Pittsburgh Improv and there's like a YouTube star, and they do a, just a, an hour meet and greet. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I mean, mm -hmm. whatever. He's getting making 20 grand. I'm making 100 bucks, whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> even though I've been working my ass off for 13 years yeah, yeah. to make $100, this guy's like, hey, blah, blah. hey, look, my girlfriend's in the kitchen. Watch me give her a Mentos Coke bath. Hey. <laughs> or how Bret Hart would do it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just like, whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever. And, and they were so cool to me. Uh, and, but, but we ended up hijacking the match. So the match that I was Even in better, listen to this. So the wait, match, wait, what order? So like how long when you're on, like how long has it been? We know? started off the match. We you're the first, match. we're the first match. Okay. So, so I kind of, I kind of came up with the idea. Uh, it was me, Jeff and a guy, cow hero, Cal is the fanny pack kid, super cool kid. He's 19 years old. He's already been on AEW. He's doing great. 
So we were like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Jeff is going to be the host of the event. I'm going to come out and I'm going to interrupt the happy birthday song and just shit on these kids, right? Shit on Jeff, shit on these kids, shit on the parents for putting together a hundred thousand dollar birthday party. And uh, <laughs> I go out there and fucking light them up. Just heal. You're just, just kept, And I was the only heel on the show. Oh, that's even better. So they were all like, hey, birthday, birthday. I'm like, shut up. Stop <laughs> singing that stupid song. <laughs> and when you tell them to shut up, they're louder. And then I'm like covering my ears like, no, 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 you know. And I said, Jeff, I'm going to get my group of people and you're going to go against your group of people. So my tag team was Cal, this dude, Iguana Boy. He comes out with a rubber iguana. He's just a goofball. And uh, uh, the Godfather, the whole train, the Godfather is in my tag team. <laughs> again, the story is hilarious. Again, the, the, the cast. Uh, Ryan Kidd, uh, Jeff Dye, somebody else, I fucking don't remember, uh, and Val Venus. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> By the way, while we're talking about Val Venus, I have a very special message from Val Venus. If you want to go ahead to the clip. Oh, we're going to clip right to that. Let's go. Hello. The audience ladies. can hear, but we can't. The big Val Boski here. Val Venus. <laughs> Pittsburgh, December 16th. You're going to want to attend the Pittsburgh Improv for one of the finest comedians on the face of God's green earth. And when it comes to hammers, this guy, Matt Light, is Venus certified. There it is. And this is the best part. He goes like, and when it comes to hammers, dude, I asked him to do it and just one take just murdered it. It's great. And Jeff and I rewatched it the next morning on the way back from San Diego to mm -hmm. LA. I laughed for 30 minutes. We it's a 30 second video. So we we watched it 60 fucking times. I, was gonna say, I think you might have laughed for for a couple of days because you came in here. It's one of the first things you showed me and you've not stopped laughing. I can't because bro, you showed it because he, he's such a nice guy and he gets so sleazy as that character like <laughs> Like he's licking his fingers. It's the way he looks too. He's knuckles deep in pussy. Just hello, <laughs> 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 oh, Lee. Oh man, the feeling I got. I love Val Venus, dude. And Val's a smart dude. Like when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, he was telling me his story about he was involved in 2009, mm -hmm. 2013, just absolutely killing it. He gave me a lot of tips. I'm not going to tell you guys that because you're not LA cool like me. Mm. But what I will say, you're so LA now. I'm, gonna be, I'm so LA. I hate Pittsburgh. I fucking, I hate them. They're all scumbags <laughs> eating their McDonald's fucking losers with their Permani Brothers sandwiches. It's disgusting. And that Ben Roethlisberger guy. And that guy. I don't even watch sports Who anymore. is that guy, right? My God. But dude, so that match that I was in. So yeah, you were healing. You were healing this match. 20 minute match. Mm -hmm. There's not one second of the match where kids aren't going, Matt sucks, Matt sucks, Matt sucks, Matt sucks. <laughs> that is so awesome for 20 minutes. And I'm trying so hard not to smile. Because <laughs> you guys like, I'm to so it. happy. You're I'm the like, happiest person. I'm ever. like, this is what I've wanted my whole life. One, because I hate children. Two, because I've always wanted to be a villain. Mm -hmm. And Jeff messaged me afterwards. He goes, dude, I, listen, we're gonna, you're gonna, we're getting you in WWE. <laughs> you're gonna be a manager. We're, you're gonna be a manager. You're gonna, nobody's gonna wrestle like you. It's gonna be tremendous. <laughs> I just can't wait, dude. I'm telling you, it's. I, I realize I'm so fucking good at it. Can we? That'd be awesome. You, okay, so if you become a wrestler, yeah, whatever negotiations, no, the manager, I'd be the manager. Well, whatever negotiations you make with WWE, this you. Like you gotta either bring me along or the show's part of it or you're still allowed to do this show, whatever you gotta do. So I got bad news. So what's that? That's only AEW. That's why everybody's jumping ship to AEW. Ah. They can't do side projects. I'll still jerk you off. Oh, okay. Well then never mind. Yeah. That's fine. Just crank you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will I will do whatever I can to bring you along. You know that. Well, if you're gonna crank me out, that's fine. Don't worry about that. So we do a wrestling show. So let me tell you how the event was. We do a wrestling show. Uh Sonny tells the guy, fuck off. And nobody's happy about it. Chuck Liddell was just hanging out. Like, all these crazy, like, 
just pe- and it's so Fucking funny. Del's this just bro. hanging out. Wait, is, is it? Is he part of the birthday here's rowdy? Why it's so funny because it's like it's 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 literally people that were popular in 1998. Right. To 2004, before this kid was even fucking born. But it's his birthday party. It's his birthday party. And he's probably just sitting there like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. And you know what's funny? They actually he actually knew all these people. This little kid knew all of them. And the and the and the joy that this kid had just going into the ring with his favorite wrestler named Psycho Clown. Mm -hmm. Psycho Clown is like the uh, Mexican John Cena. Okay. Like the biggest guy in Mexico. Okay. Mexican. And he had his uh. own ring gear. He came out with them. And, you know, Jackson and Mikey, it was their birthday. It was the coolest thing I've ever been a part of. So we're done with that, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, all right, we got we to gotta get the ring out. We got to set up. We're going to have another show. I didn't find out until last week that I was doing stand-up comedy as well. <laughs> This seems to be a recurring part of the story. I swear we had a story like this before. You, yeah. you just find out. Oh, by the way, stand up comedy also. Yeah, Jeff. That's like, what you do, right? Jeff was like, "You want to do stand up? You're going to do stand up comedy. We're going to open up for somebody." And I go, "Oh, cool. Who's the comedian?" It wasn't a comedian. It was fucking. <laughs> Who was it? Uncle Cracker. <laughs> You remember? Follow me and everything is all right. I thought he was dead. I didn't even know he was alive. And the whole time after I'm done wrestling, I th- this uh, this r- Christy James, she gives me a- an edible. I'm like, yeah, give me an edible. This I don't works because 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 I'm opening up for Uncle Crack yeah, and legal and legal where you're at. Well, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, give me one of these things, bro. I fucking it, first of all, it didn't work. But it was so funny because, like, I don't know what Uncle Cracker looks like, and I didn't want to look it up to ruin the moment for me. So I'm thinking, all right, what do I think Uncle Cracker looks like? I'm like, all right, it's probably short, chubby, wears fl- a flannel. <laughs> so I'm at this party with, like, the Real Housewives of San Diego looking for somebody who just looks like they smell like Slim Jims. <laughs> and I'm just like, where is Uncle Cracker? Like, I'm going to find this fucking guy, right? And and I and I'm like going up to I'm like you think that's him? But yeah, that's probably him. People are not even sure either. Everyone else is like, hey, I guess you're right. And then it's funny because like Uncle Cracker doesn't get there till last minute, right? Okay. I go up there and and I do really well, uh, and I was surprised. I really didn't because so. But you did the stand up before <clears throat> you even saw Uncle Cracker. No, no, okay. I didn't even see Uncle Cracker. <laughs> I, I go up, I do my time. Jeff goes up, he does his time. Mm-hmm. We do really well for the circumstances. Mm-hmm. It's an outdoor show. Nobody's there to see you. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. But they were so nice to me, so friendly. <clears throat> Uncle Cracker comes up, and then, yeah, that's what Uncle Cracker should look like. <laughs> exactly what I described. <laughs> Uncle Cracker goes up there. He does ten songs. Three of them were his own. The other were like seven covers. Mm-hmm. You know, and and I'm I'm fucking at this point hammered. I was gonna say you got to be drunk by now. This story is getting long. And I'm just like I'm just like I was like Uncle Cracker, <laughs> play Wonderwall, bitch. <laughs> so now the only song everyone knows, follow me and everything. Jeff gets up behind Uncle Cracker. And he's like, I'll be the one to talk you. <laughs> and now they're yelling, Jeff, get off the stage, get, get off the, off stage. the stage. Because the day before, <laughs> Sean goes, hey, when he plays Follow Me, I'd love it if all the talent goes up there and sings with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Jeff thinks, well, yeah, yeah I guess that's, we're all going to go we're all up. doing it, but no one else did it but Jeff died. I wasn't going up. Yeah. <laughs> I would I don't I don't know the fucking words other than yeah. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night and if you wanna leave I can guarantee this song's worse than this coffee <laughs> and like and but I will say it was a great show it was so fucking fun I mean it was so funny because it was like it mm. was just if Mad Libs Tourette's and bipolar was a show. <laughs> It was where I was at. This was the weirdest fucking show I've ever done, and it, and I will never forget it, and I'm so grateful for it. I feel like in L.A., your experience of this show, of like a C plus, C minus show, whatever you would call it, yeah. is just happening on every block. Mm. Like the next block over just has like just different ver- variants of what that is. Well, that was so funny. <laughs> like, because that's what I said. Je- Jeff and I are watching this wrestling match. A lucha wrestler. That's that's the Mexicans with masks. A lucha, a lucha wrestler is on the top beam, 
like like fucking 30 feet from the ring, does a backflip on the fucking people. And I go to Jeff, I go, imagine today's your moving day in this neighborhood. <laughs> and you see a fucking masked Mexican just flying in the air. Because you can't see the ring because it's in the backyard. Yeah. You just, just see the you just, just, see, blah, blah, just fucking I'm, I just feel like three blocks away, like the same thing's happening with like Jeff Jared and like the third spice. Girl. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like this and oh, then just another third yeah. day. Hey, 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 we couldn't get we couldn't get ginger spice. We got scary spice. <laughs> we got flavored spice. Yeah. Flavored we got paprika, paprika coming out. Yeah. We didn't even have spice girls. We got herbs and shit. <laughs> the herb bitches. <laughs> we got spicy spice. Dude, yeah, I mean it was fucking <laughs> And, and it was so cool, man. Oh, Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle was the other guy in the Who's tag Hornswoggle? Team. Hornswoggle These is, up names is now. the, he came out with uh, Finley. Uh, he's the dwarf wrestler. Okay, okay. He's fucking awesome, dude. He was so nice. Such an awesome dude. Um, we had, dude, it was so much fun. And, and then like, we're hungover. I'm like, we're not like, there's no way we're going to do what we were supposed to do next. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's what we were did next. Jeff goes, you've never been to a basketball game. I go, nope. He's like, and, and he knows it's my bucket list thing. Mm -hmm. He goes, well, I'm really good friends with the owner of the Lakers. I go, I'm sorry, what? He's like, yeah, I'm really good friends with the owner of the Lakers. Let me message her and see if we can go to the game. Sounds like a lie. I can't imagine a female owning a basketball team. Well, <laughs> Tell you something, front fucking row courtside uh, at a Lakers game. Nice. I go there. I got to see her ring. The ring opens up and it says Unity on it. I'm at a fucking. I'm oh, like, you're with her. You met. I'm you sitting met her. with her. I met ah. her, dude. It's four of us. It's that's it's, cool. It's, it's that's it's, who the woman was. It's in the me, stories. Jeff, Linda. Linda is in the front office. She was married. She's married to some guy on the Lakers who was this white dude with glasses. Mm -hmm. That was the muscle. And he would just beat like from the like seventies, eighties, and he would just beat the like they would oh you hit Kareem and he would just fucking elbow <laughs> these dudes in their fucking throat. <laughs> Jeff was showing me videos of this guy. I'm like he's fucking awesome. That's this great. Is so cool. So we're there, and and like I said, everybody's looking at us because they're like oh, they're with they're with yeah they're know? with him they, right. Yeah. And I felt so cool, but I'm like you know I only make twenty grand a year. Yeah, like, but you're you're in the circle, dude. You know, it's the, all about those tickets are twenty thousand dollars. That's Absolutely insane. Steeler tickets were 40 bucks last week in the yeah. rain with Mason. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's you get what you pay Against for. Against the Lions. You get what you fucking pay for. <laughs> the ending tie game. We're not going to talk about this. I, don't, I didn't even much. watch it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know why? Because I'm Los Angeles now. Yeah, that's right. You don't even. I'm, I'm, I don't even know who the Steelers are. Yeah. What's that city we're in right now? You know, you're know, you like mentally never oh, even left. Oh, wait a minute. The Chargers are playing at home against some shitty team some this team, weekend. Right. Yeah. The Steelers? I guess I'll yeah. go. <laughs> Guess I go see those bums. <laughs> I should go. I should honestly fly back. Like the ultimate suck my dick is for me to come here, do this podcast. I'm going back to LA and just and just fly out Saturday mm -hmm. and go to the Steelers. I mean, so the Chargers game. Ch play, Chargers game. And yep. then play Pittsburgh. That's cool. So much fun. <laughs> but that was my weekend, dude. It was unbelievable. I met so many nice people. Val Venus, honestly, was so cool. The Godfather's telling me, like, just hearing all these wrestlers tell stories. Yeah. It's so fucking cool because it's like, you know what, what, you know, you're being told from certain people and then they tell you the real story. Yeah. And they tell you shit that like, you're like, wait, what? what? And like, I, all I'll say is this. My mind is fucking blown away. And you just mean like the business in general? Yeah. Pretty and much. like behind the scenes and mm -hmm. like, like, oh, well, this is why that happened. This is the real story behind it. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, What? Like Earl Hebner, like fucking gave me his phone number. Val Venus gave like let's hang out. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Well, it does, I mean, like it's kind of like a party thing, you know. You guys say because it's at once because you well, never know. Well, they like comedians too. They like right. guys that are fucking funny, like what we bring to the table, right? And they love telling those stories. What's well, the same thing? I remember when I used to hang out with some of you guys. You're great at uh, um, wingman. Mm -hmm. You just your attention getters. I was thinking about this this morning. Where there's some people putting a lot of time and effort in trying to be a good stand up comedian and writing their jokes, and maybe they're not good at it. Maybe there are, but there's some people that maybe they're not that good at that part. But man, they're really good at getting attention. And don't, I tell you, don't. it's like ninety percent of it. Yeah, but you got to be a good comedian too. It's a little bit of both, but I mean, you get past. You're that, really trying your to sound are, like you're saying you don't mm, think I'm a good comedian. Right I don't now. think I was saying that at all. I'm the best. No, the best. Yeah. Four yeah. time number one Should've in been, that city that you're not going to live in. Should have been 
anymore. The sixth time. It's okay. I'll be best sixth. in LA now. Fuck it. Yeah, there you go. Dane Cook who? <laughs> Dane Cook was at one time the greatest, at least seen as, stand-up comedian in the country. Maybe not maybe yeah, the YouTube. world. Crazy. The world. Well, when the stage is that big and you can just do circles. Hey, guys. <gasps> I, I enjoyed him though. I, I will say that I like I, Dane. I, I like how he, I love how he talks about his whole experience through that and very honest. Like I think yeah. he has the, uh, him and Theo had a. I like how I say Theo. Like I saw I know him. he's like I didn't like you at first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always cooler when because it's a, <clears throat> people, we talk about people like that and they just bury it and try to hide away from it mm -hmm. and you have like much more disrespect for them. But then when they come out and talk about it, it's like ah oh, Dane's fine. Yeah, you know he came out and talked about what's going on. But that was my Uncle Cracker concert. It was way better than Travis Scott's concert because <laughs> I killed more than eight that audience. Uh, <laughs> Every show that I go, uh, I kill. Mm, mm. So what do you know about the Travis Scott concert? Here's so all I know. Here, give, us, here, give me here, the info you know. Here's what I know. Uh, there's a shit ton of people there. Mm -hmm. They like stampeded like the fucking opening scene in Lion they King, they and people are being fucking trampled. But it's a it's a hip hop concert. I don't mm -hmm. think they know how to act. And yeah. what I mean by that is like, so here's the thing: when you go to a rock concert and there's a mosh pit, everybody's aware of that's the mosh pit. Mm -hmm. When you push somebody, you pick them up. Everybody was just trying to rush the stage. That people were just being left behind. Yeah. Then I saw that there was a like golf carts for paramedics that wheel people out. And these motherfuckers are on top yeah, of the golf cart. Yeah. Those people are complete assholes. And it's like, bro, Please like you bangs. should be shot in the fucking yeah. throat. There's people on that that are hurt. Yeah, that's just that's just crazy. What are your thoughts on do you think Travis Scott should have stopped? Well, that too, but do you think he should ha be at fault at, or how much at fault should he be of all the, the I don't think problems. he should be at fault at all I think he should have stopped the show though right like I, I think when people are yelling stop stop people are hurt yeah if I was like in he the back acknowledged of the, it for a second it is kind of he does acknowledge it I'm just trying to think like those shows are massive the lights are crazy there's pyrotechnics the music you know just being at the improv if yeah. I'm in the back and I'm trying to get your attention would I be able to get your attention not necessarily so I think you can maybe kind of see what's happening and yeah. you kind of but you don't know necessarily someone's dying or not so but, at the same well, time also, it is you don't concert. think that's gonna happen right mm -hmm. like what like other than like okay so I can name I can individually name concerts because it's so rare, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think Ariana Grande had an issue in somewhere before. Maybe. I was sure it was Grande. I know there's other I know concerts. there's the Mandalay Bay shooting, mm -hmm. which is completely different. That's a little like, different. Because you hear that. <laughs> yeah. Which is terrible. This was an accident. Well, what's weird is that there's someone's at fault, obviously. But, like, when it was, like, for 38 minutes, like, the, the incident was considered a mass um, death or whatever they call that. Like, why is no one walking out on stage and going, hey, Travis, probably, you know, we're probably done. You know, let's cut. Like, there's people dead. Like, no one came out on stage to tell yeah, this dude, like, I, mean, like, I think we got to turn I this think, off. I think it's, uh, yeah, I, I think to blame him fully is... is Not to blame, I don't think we should blame stupid. him fully, but it's someone's got to go to jail. <laughs> or somebody's just got to get in trouble. Like, major. It's, he did say he was going to pay for all their funerals He did, yeah, stuff, he jumped on at that. On which, that I mean, sense. like, yeah, dude, that's nice of you, and, and I think that's, you know, but like everything I've heard about Travis Scott prior to this, though, like I heard that he's actually a good person. But I've also heard that like there's been incidents at other concerts, not as drastic that has happened before. And he's kind of just gone on. But like I said, I think it's so tough when you're trying to be the entertainer. You're in such a different zone yeah. on stage that someone should be because obviously you can turn the sound off. Someone else can jump on it the mic. It should be the venue or, the, or yeah. management. Or Somebody something. has to be liable. Somebody Someone's got to take one. But that's what about crazy. that? What about the kid that's crying? You mean from this, from Travis? Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh. <laughs> your your transition. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. If we're gonna blame a black dude, we gotta blame a white dude, <laughs> right? Do you think his cries were real? Do you think that was real? I don't know, but he looked retarded when he was doing it. This is what my process was thinking about it. I think it was somewhat legitimate. Not saying he's innocent or guilty, but I think in the moment you got to think about it like that. That's like the moment. That's where you you you're at the you're reliving the whole thing in a very public. When I say public, millions more than that, right, are gonna see you. So now in that moment, you are reliving it. You just 
It just looks like he lost control of his hey, body. Hey, listen, if you're 17 years old and you go downtown to a protest with a rifle, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> they came at me. They're coming right for us. Yeah. Here, that's that's what I think about stuff. With the argument I can't stand on the on the right is it just seems like if you have a gun, you're just always right because you can always make the you argument. You went there that, for yeah. a reason, yeah. right? And it's a long gun. wasn't a short. wasn't right. concealed. Right. You yeah. went there looking for fucking looking for trouble. trouble. Looking for trouble. Uh, check out this. You're 17. Mm -hmm. What do you have that for? This isn't duck hunt. <laughs> Play with an orange gun and aim at the fucking... Also, when you play that game, I used to cheat. I'd put the gun up against my fucking cube TV. But doesn't it make it hard, I thought? No. When that fucking... <laughs> Just makes the whole screen Bro, answer. when that, that piece of shit dog laughed at me... <laughs> blah, 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 he would do uh, that. Now this is what we're going to do. When we finally do VR... Someone took that game and made like a horror game. It's almost, it's great. It's one of the greatest VR games. Does the dog attack you? The dog attacks you. It's scary as shit. You got to shoot it and stuff. You'll probably freak out. When we actually do it, that will be the first game uh, we that's get. that's great. And we'll do it here on the show. Uh, but yeah, that made me <laughs> jump off with horrible things. What else is going on in the news? What else? Is I was too busy in Los Angeles. Uh, Dave Portnoy is, someone's trying to cancel them. I saw cancel that. Him. I don't even want to talk about it. You don't it. want to call, the only thing I wanted to bring no, up. No, because you don't want, it's a touchy subject. I don't care. I know he did a press conference and apparently he wins. I just don't care. I don't know anything about him personally. I met him once. He was nice to me. Super cool. I met him twice. Super cool guy. Seemed to like me. Um... And then all this sexual, I just, I don't. My, I don't, my two I cents just, were. I don't have an opinion. When when the, when I first saw the, it come up in the news, I clicked on the article and I went to read it and it was behind a paywall. And so I'm like, well, yeah, this is so probably bullshit. This yeah. is probably bullshit. And he, yeah. and then, then he, then he did his press conference where he said that. And I was like, yeah. And I guess now, supposedly sometime this week, he's up in New York, like trying to get in. Trying to talk to them. Well, he was saying too, that's that, how like, much he's like. His said that his lawyers are trying to sue them back. Right. I just don't. Dude, I don't they care. didn't even. But in the article, they didn't even like say he did a crime or anything. They like they all the headlines make it seem like it. But if you actually read the article, whatever. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's always just, clickbait. It's like this it's, wrestler got arrested, right? And it's a photo of John Cena. And then when you click the article, it's not John. It's Cena. Dave from Blonox <laughs> who wrestles for Keystone State Wrestling Alliance. It's just what I said before. It's all about getting attention, and the best way is you go at certain people. You know, SNL had a Joe Joe Rogan sketch this week. They also had a Big Bird sketch. People gotta go after Poitnoy because Big Bird. Yeah, Big Big Bird was telling everyone to get their vaccines. Hey, kids. And then the right. <laughs> was do you want to be alive? <laughs> Stop eating cookies. And get the vax. I'm coming the frog here, and I think that we should all shoot heroin. <laughs> it's like My wife like, is a fat blonde cunt. <laughs> it starts off like this. What, is that hitting a ball? Kermit the frog here. Did you just call me Kermit? <laughs> that sketch. God, I'm stoned. <laughs> yeah, which one was gay? Isn't one of them gay? I don't, I don't remember. I the think whole Elmo's thing. gay now. It was just an audio download on Napster. That's what I remember how oh, yeah, I, yeah. I took that in. Yeah. No YouTube. Like my first experience was like, hey, I downloaded this last week. You guys want to hear it? Oh uh, yeah, just Big Berg. <laughs> and Why Kermit. you kick my dog? Remember that one? <laughs> Your daughter come to my house today. And then she come on my property, and now uh -huh. my dog need operation. Oh my god! You just opened up the portal in my back brain. I, I mean, it all hurts. of them were so good. Do you? This was more of a YouTube you video. You suck, you jackass! <laughs> you can download all of that shit. Do you remember this one at all? It's like get some waffle fries and a coke. Oh, you know that unforgivable! One? Yes, unforgivable. Then he's like, he's like, then this other bitch I wanted to oh. spit on. I said, give me a chicken sandwich <laughs> and some waffle fries. <laughs> For free. For free. He's in the woods. It's like what? black and white. Me and my fraternity brothers, like, we still, I, like, I remember I still, like, just messaged him and just like, give me some waffle fries and a Coke. So my big, my big viral I'm video. I'm sweating because of black. So when much. I was in high school was a thing <laughs> called, uh, there was two of them. Uh, one was uh, Lemon Party. <laughs> Do you remember what Lemon Party I is? Was that a website? What was it? Yeah, so say? LemonParty.org. Okay. Is three old gay guys sucking each other off, and it's just a photo of it. <laughs> and so, like every party we had at school, we'd have a lemon party. 
And they didn't know what it meant. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, politically, I, like the Lemon Party, that's who I'm going to vote for this year. <laughs> and they were like, what is that? I'm like, it's kind of like libertarian. <laughs> I got the giggles now, too. And uh, this was my favorite one. My favorite website was Meatspin. I knew that was the one you were going to say. So Meatspin. Does it still work? Uh, don't go to it. You're not <laughs> a good computer. <laughs> so what Meatspin was, it I think... It was a transsexual. Was it? And a, and a, and a male. One of the, I don't know. But I all I know is. I it it might have been two guys. Okay. I don't know. It just was a nice floppy dick. So I thought. Long, was, long floppy dick. I don't think it was a. Right. So, so dude's getting pounded in the butt and the dick spins. And it's, it's the same clip, just bang, bang, bang. And after 46 spins, a pop up goes, You're officially gay. <laughs> With a smiley face, but it was the colon comma one, not like a emoji. Right, right. And, and the, so what I did was, <laughs> I knew how to hack onto the computers, because so like everyone did this in high school. Because you would just all you had to do was on the HTTP dot, yeah, you just add the S to it, and then you could pass the wall. Yes. So I would yes. screenshot it, and I would print them. <laughs> From in the library, I'd print 400 meat spins and just let them sit there in between your fucking bibliographies <laughs> and shit. And so listen to this. So we would go to the North Hills High School football games. Uh -huh. And the one game, we grabbed a lasso of sausage links. And we dressed like cowboys. And we're spinning meat, going, meat spin, like that. And my principal has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and he's like, he's like... What is this meat spin thing? And I was, oh, it's the best. I was like, go it's to meatspin.com. Remember, our games are Friday nights. So Monday, you get your you get your fucking, you know how some little fucking prick would come in yeah. and, get, and give the slip to the teacher. <laughs> and it was the red slip and it pink. And it would be like, Matthew Light, <laughs> principal's office. Yeah. I was like, fuck. I go into the principal's office and uh, my principal goes, <clears throat> That's some funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> he loved me, bro. He loved me. Cause here's a fun fact. He was, we were his first class as principal, my senior oh, year. Oh, okay. So he, when he introduced himself, he, we were at the auditorium and he made the, the thing squeak real quick, the mic. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, I thought that'd get your attention, like being a hard ass. Uh -huh. And I just go really loud and go, dickhead. <laughs> Like that, I just yelled dickhead at him. <laughs> and everybody's laughing. Oh my God. And like, and, and everyone was, and it's like, who said that? And I was like, me, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so I talked to, and I, you know, the first thing he says to me is, you're Matt Light, aren't you? And I was like, yeah. He was like, yep. I was told that I'm going to have to worry about you. Yep, you're the and guy. And he's like, we can either be buddies or we can be enemies. And I was like, let's do both. <laughs> and he was like, I don't have a problem with you being an asshole. He's like, just don't disrupt learning, but you can be a jag off. Like, and the thing was, is this is true, man. Like we'd go to Steeler games and we'd play North. Or, I mean, football games, North Hills games. I'd have a North Allegheny fucking mascot i on a noose hanging it mm -hmm. and he's like oh i bet you're just like that mascot i was like yeah hung <laughs> and he was laughing he's like yeah and he's like he was so fucking cool though right like and i remember the one time we were playing and dude so banging the students sounds uh, like no he was he wasn't not like one of those it. guys no, he was cool uh and the one time this is a true story uh hypothetically though for legal reasons we played north allegheny at basketball and what happened was north allegheny's basketball player and tight end wore number 89 that year and he fucked the english teacher and it was very quiet nobody knew about it like on public record mm -hmm. uh until now and <laughs> busted we went to the thrift store thrift store in wexford because that's where na's you could always find a yellow shirt so we put her last name and his number on it at the basketball games. And oh so God. we walked in and the first thing they did was you got to take those off. Well, yeah, we knew that was going to happen. So our chests were already painted with her name and number anyways. Could have ruined, ruined this girl's life. Well, she fucked a student. So it's on you. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's. 
So they're like, all right, well, listen, just don't start shit. And now, now we're sitting there and I see a, there's a hat. There's money being collected. Mm -hmm. The reason why money was being collected is because I was going to spear the fucking tiger at halftime. Just go up, super I mean, kick it or spear it. And, uh, and the principal comes up to me and goes, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you two things. One, fucking hysterical. <laughs> So funny. The first thing he's always telling you, like, great ideas, Matt. The ideas you always have, right. excellent. He hundred, goes, hundred. But two, ready? <laughs> but two, there's police at the game and the mascot's a female. So you, so is that $280 worth it? I'm in high school. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not 18 yet. Yeah, I'm not going to jail. I'm lighting this cunt up. I'm going to fucking blast her. Right? <laughs> so he sees me like tying up my shoes. He's like, you're going to be suspended. You you might be expelled. I go, I was going to drop out anyway. I was like, you're literally telling me, hey, do you want do money it. in the league do it. school? Do like, it. You're He's like, please don't do it. And when he was nice and we just said, please don't do it, I was like, all right. And I didn't do it. Uh, but I threw a popcorn at her fucking head. <laughs> and he, he just looked over me and was like, yep. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I, I loved high school, man. I, I wasn't like, I, they like the class clowns as long as you do your work. Mm -hmm. I think it's when you just are a fucking dickhead and just interrupt, you know? Like, for example, when I was in home ec, we did the Stone Cold What? Because it was ninth period, it's home ec, it's not a real fucking, we don't care. Mm -hmm. like, I'm making fucking strombolis, right? So every time, like, dude, it was me and like three of my buddies and they would be talking. And every time they would say something, we'd go, what? In between everything. All right, we're going to open our, what? <laughs> what? And it was like after like day three, they're like, you're not participating in this <laughs> class anymore. You're sitting outside for the next nine weeks. <laughs> Because we made a stromboli. I spit gum into the stromboli Ew. while we were cooking it. Oh, my God. And then and you have to test the food and try it. And mm -hmm. the way that we got graded is if the other kids would eat your food. Right, right, right. And I was like, well, I'm not fucking eating this. Spit fucking gum into it. Oh, my God. And they're like, and I, and I, but I was friends with the other people. I go, don't eat it. And they're like, why not? I'm like, I spit gum in it. Don't fucking eat it. <laughs> so everybody's going, we're not hungry. We don't want it. They're like, oh, well, we'll give it to the class next door. Ah. <laughs> so it was all the ghetto kids that like, don't try. Ah. You know what I mean? Some chick choked on it. She said it tasted minty and she choked on the gum. Wow, oh, you almost killed somebody. I almost killed somebody. It sounds about Matt Lightish yeah. light to me. And then we were just, it was the end of the day too. Like we were ninth period. So we had to wash the dishes for the rest of the class. Right? Mm -hmm. we, we, this is how we we went. Uh, we'd lick the plates, lick the forks. Oh God. And just fucking put them in the washer. Like if, if we hit that wash button. <laughs> Biggest fucking assholes. You were awful. I was a piece. Did you graduate on time? What was your What was your GPA? Uh, okay, so my highest GPA I ever had was a one point nine. That's bad. My lowest was a point five four five. But but here's the thing: my PSSAs, you take standardized tests. Mm -hmm. I scored in the top seven percent of the state. Fucking genius. I'm smart. Mm -hmm. I am, but I just fucking hate school. Because what, here's what happened to me: when I was younger, when I was in like sixth and seventh grade, what they would do to me is I didn't want to be in gate. Right, that like gifted shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be in it, but I would always finish my work before everybody else. So they would give me more work. I'm like, fuck that. I mm -hmm. don't want to do that. Like, why should I have to do more because I'm better than these fucking yeah. idiots? And, what, like, and teachers are like, well, crap, he's got nothing to do. We got to keep him busy. Otherwise yeah, because I would talk. Behave. I kept right. talking. You know I'm what I mean? Like, we got to keep him busy. So I just realized, like, oh, or I could just do nothing and go to summer school for two fucking weeks and get the same diploma as the rest of these cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so I strategically didn't do shit yeah, knowing, yeah. oh, there's never going to be a job that looks at your high school transcript. Right, right. So, yeah. No one even asked, asked me about my college degree no, ever. So I went to the University ever. of Miami for marine biology, <laughs> graduated. To, fuck them. Who cares? Suck my dick. This is George Costanza. School He's a biologist so and an architect. <laughs> Bro, if, school, if school taught you the real shit, like mm -hmm. how to do your taxes, how to do all this shit. Instead of learning how to make a fucking pumpkin pie. How to do a podcast. So, oh, we, we're going to sew today. Who the <laughs> fuck needs to sew? My name's not Joanne. <laughs> fuck school. If you're listening to this, 
Drop and out. First, you know, how, why are you lit? You're too fucking young to watch this. Yeah, if you're in high school and you're watching this, you know, buy a shirt. But drop out and, and go, buy go, my fucking- Go to patreon.com yeah, yeah. forward slash Matt Light Comedy. Why don't you plug <laughs> us? Go ahead. Tell them about how they can do Yeah, it. all that stuff. Uh, we just forgot to plug some stuff. It's www.patreon.com forward slash Matt Light Comedy. That's where you can join the Matt Light sensation of things we got going on. We got bonus episodes. We're going to have some special behind the scenes coming up. Matt's got a show in December. We're going to have a bunch of behind the scenes from that show. Also, make sure to like, subscribe to all the our social medias like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm probably forgetting some other ones. Let's check us out there. And yeah, also oh, check out the pits.company for other videos and comedy the stuff. The pits is dust. I keep saying Justin today because I can't. This fucking coffee's fucking me up. I'm Dustin. I know. I'm dusted. You're dusted and I'm thrusted. Oh, yeah. Ah, vaginas. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Dustin uh, is, is the pits is Dustin's company. Dustin does all this stuff. He does all media needs, whether it's commercials, promos. That's gateway. Well, that's. I yeah. Don't, I don't. The pits is the network. The gateway is the production company with all the lights and the equipment and stuff. The gateway. What the fuck do you want? That's their slogan. That's Thank it. Because they can do everything. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I think we did a good episode. That was a I great think episode. We're pretty done. A uh, fun fact. Um, I'm taking my talents to LA, baby. I think I think that's it. I think I'm gonna leave Pittsburgh because here's why: you guys don't appreciate me. <laughs> As we just trying to get people on the Patreon, no. you're like fuck it, we're leaving. How many Patreon subscribers do we have? We got zero. Zero. But you I know, think, it's fifteen not... episodes. Okay. Here's the thing: if you don't subscribe, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> you don't get the podcast anymore. You don't get to see my blotchy, sweaty face on this fucking camera with these stupid things. Dustin's gonna kill himself probably. That's a possibility. He's living in a dumpster. Look yeah, at I know. <laughs> I love that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm washing dishes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. It's the first time I've ever washed dishes. My ex actually left me partially because I wouldn't clean the fucking house. You know what? There, I have issues with being in bed with people who want to cuddle 24-7 in a small bed. I need my room. Like, I like, snore so yeah. nobody loves me. Oh. <laughs> I literally have to go in the other room. Well, so I was thinking, since we're plugging stuff and people get on Patreon, besides doing the behind the scenes here on your December 16th show, yeah. uh, I've got pretty long on the uh, Christmas uh, Santa Vention. I'm excited script. to do it. So that will also be a thing here before the end of Christmas. Maybe we'll do like a public showing. The the podcast will like we'll all watch it together. Yeah, I'll like do that. whatever. And also, uh, you might have special access, uh, first access to when I'm on Judge Jerry. Oh uh, yeah, which should be airing soon. That would be cool. We can add all um, that. But yeah, come so. out to the show Pittsburgh Improv December 16th. Uh, I'm headlining. Uh, Seneca Stone made a joke saying he's doing a guest set. He's not because I don't have enough time for him. Uh, but <laughs> oh, Natalie Moses is hosting the show. No, I'm sorry, Eric. Ne listen, Pittsburgh's very is. <laughs> you want to reset? Hold on. Let's get me going. All right, we're not okay. leaving. All right, ready? No, 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 no. There you go. Ah, it's time to play the game. Here's the thing. <laughs> Pittsburgh always says, oh, shows aren't diverse enough, blah, 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 blah. I literally listen to this show, okay? You have a goat headlining it. That's a fucking animal. Yeah, Jesus. It's bestiality because I'm a fucking beast on stage. <laughs> Matt Light. You have Eric Nesby on a show. Uh, very funny comic. He's hosting it. He's black. So we did the Rooney Rule. Hey. So we're there, right? So we got that. We got, we got, a, we got a goat. We have a, we got a black. Then, wait for this. Then we have Natalie Moses. We have a female because we need females to be on every fucking show. She's what is she? A female. She's Lebanese. So oh, ooh. perfect. We got wow. some. Yeah, we got really somebody on the no spectrum. fly list, right? <laughs> So we have every and then and then featuring we have Mike Zidell. Ah. Mike Zidell, very funny comedian uh, from Greenfield. So that's a white trash area. Uh, he talks about uh, his recovery program and when he used to do heroin. So, hey, listen, we're all about the comeback, boosting everybody up December 16th. I've already sold 70 tickets. Mm. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's pretty it's good. But I should have been fucking sold out by now. <laughs> I started with 360 tickets. I sold how many? 70. 85 tickets, 80, right? 80, yeah, and I 85. Yeah, and I only have 200 and whatever, math. Math. Right, I quit trying in school, you, you like I said. You didn't go to school, yeah, right. right. I didn't go to school. It's 275, though, if you're keeping it home. Uh, I am smart. 
fuck you, flashcard champion. <laughs> this was Matt Light, episode whatever the fuck 15. Thanks for watching. Uh. <laughs>